Hello friends, let's try to understand how to perform independent sample t-test in Microsoft Excel. An independent sample t-test, also known as two sample t-test, is used to compare the mean of two independent groups to determine whether there is a statistical evidence that the means are significantly different from each other. It is applicable when the groups being compared are distinct and unrelated. So let's take an example that what we can see here, a restaurant has conducted a survey of customer satisfaction and they have collected data from 40 customers. So you can see here 20 customers are male and 20 customers are female. Now if we can see here the customer satisfaction rating is given from 1 to 5 where 1 is equal to highly dissatisfied and 5 is equal to highly satisfied. So as per the conditions Independent sample t-test is applicable on two distinct or unrelated group. So here we can see that male and female can be considered as two independent groups. And suppose if the owner of this restaurant is interested to check what is the difference between satisfaction level of male and female or we can say that if he want to check whether is there any difference between satisfaction level of male and female then in that case we may apply independent sample details. So let's see how the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis can be framed. So when we are talking about null hypothesis, null hypothesis can be stated like this. The mean of two groups are equal. It means the mean customer satisfaction value of male and mean customer satisfaction value of female are equal. That is what we are assuming in null hypothesis. In the same way, when we are talking about alternative hypothesis, we can state it like that the means of two groups are different. So what we are assuming here, customer satisfaction of male is different from customer satisfaction of female. In other sense, we can say that mean value of male customer satisfaction is different from mean value of female customer satisfaction. So this is the alternative hypothesis. Now. When we have data in this form, we can use data tab and there is one option right top corner here that is data analysis to run independent sample details. So once you click here, this window will appear and you can see that there are two independent sample details are available here. So this is the first one, details two sample assuming equal variances and second one is details two sample assuming unequal variances. So as for these two groups, we have not checked whether the variances are equal or not. We are going with the second option. Once you select the second option, please click OK. And this window will appear. And then it will ask for variable input. So when we are talking about, you can read here variable one range. So this is our variable for range that is for male. And second, this is our variable range for females. Once we are done that, it will ask for labels. So we have to take it as we have entered the data with the labels. Alpha will remain 0 0.05 and output range we can select either in new worksheet or uh, in the same sheet. So I have just selected here. I want output in this cell. So once we are done with this, we just have to press OK and the output will generate like this. So now it's time to understand how to interpret this output. So as we can see that the independence sample t-test has calculated the mean value of both male and female. Male mean satisfaction level is 3.2 and female mean satisfaction is 4.1. So from here itself we can identify there is a difference but we want to prove whether statistically this difference are significant or not. That's why we have to check p-values and we are considering this p-value that is 2 tail. Uh, you might have that question that why we are not going for one tail t-test because we have not developed here directional hypothesis. We have not stated here that male mean satisfaction is more than female or vice versa. If we have set up the directional hypothesis, we may go with one sample t-test. Sorry, we may go with one tail t-test but in our case, we have stated that there is no difference between male and female main satisfaction. That's why we are selecting this 
p value and that is for two tail. So here we can see the value is 0 0.02 and now if we compare that value with alpha then we can say that this p value is less than 0 0.05 and if the value is less than 0 0.05 null hypothesis is rejected and other hand alternative hypothesis is accepted. So what is our alternative hypothesis? The alternative hypothesis is the mean value of these two group are difference. So what we can conclude from here mean customer satisfaction value of male and female are different statistically. So in other way we can write like this we can conclude that male and female satisfaction level are significantly different from each other and the difference observed in the sample is unlikely to be due to chance or an error. So once we conclude that based on the p value what are the marketing application here. So if this restaurant based on this sample data want to formulate any marketing strategy he has to consider that that male and female has different customer satisfaction level if he or she want to approach male and female both the gender he has to develop separate marketing strategy for these two gender. So this is all about running and performing independent sample TTS in Microsoft Excel. I hope you like this video and you understand it properly. Thank you so much for watching.